you have a background in martial arts. Is that how you became a personal trainer, or how did that transition? And, and to know? totally, that you've you've hit the nail on the head there. So I was I never am, uh, had an ambition to be a coach or a trainer, um, but I definitely didn't see the world of fighting like perhaps my contemporaries, perhaps some of my teachers and my peers that I was around saw it like that. And I started, I lived in Blackheath at the time. I just started inviting some of the guys up to the Heath on Saturday, just one or two. And I'll be like, I think we should maybe do it like this and let's work on these things. And that was genuinely my evolution because I just had perhaps ideas. And I think the biggest mistake in martial arts as teachers is that most teachers uh, were fighters and then they evolved to teachers and at that point they sort of go oh I'm going to teach people how to fight like how I fight rather than looking at the athlete and looking at the individual which was very much my school of thought how do I how do I make this person awesome perhaps he's nothing like me but how do I make him awesome and I still see that a lot I went to a new class last week and you know it, the even though the world of sort of sport was advanced and some aspects particularly in MMA mixed martial arts have blown up and evolved it was like going back to 1994 it really was reminded me of like starting as a kid and just uh, the the gentleman just hadn't thought about coaching mm. he just took, went hand to mouth and uh you know there's a there's a great evolution in it and um so to go back to that story, the, there was a lady who on Black Keith who used to come up to me and ask me to train her. And I was like, I'm not a coach. And she kept coming back. And I eventually put her on the pads. And to this day, I still train her. So okay. I owe her a combination of some of my friends who are encouraging me, already saying, look, you're already a coach. Give up your job. Just go do this and you'll be fine. And I've got to say, I was. You know, it was, was hard <laughs> to give up that job because, you know, you're scared, right? Of course. But... Um, it worked out. Or it's working out. Exactly. And I think it's really good, like you said, about personalising it for everyone. That's important. Not just one method, but kind of making something that's individual. Com completely. I was just at a, a gym this morning and um, I was looking at some of the other coaches. My client was, you know, he's a rock star. He was half hour late. Actually, about 45 minutes in the end. <laughs> but um, I... I was looking at the other trainers because I need someone to sort of cover me at the minute and I'm sort of reviewing my head and I, I know that their warm-up, that their, when I'm looking at them, or some of them, I know that their warm-up is the same warm-up they use with client A as they use with client C. And there may be some non-negotiables, but, you know, when I look at my clients and if you were to look at my, like, the workouts that I did today that are on my phone, they're chalk and cheese because the, the need of client A is not the same as client B. So that personalization, it's there in the title, personal trainer, but we're not trained that way. We haven't evolved our craft that way yet.